Hey there guys, the only event this week is um, the Mog King and Easy Exploration. Uh, there's a map on the wiki for the Warlock's Castle. Uh, and then the Silver Crown Battle for Ferris, which we're going to do in this video. So the missions are the usual, no KO, no continues, 5 turns or less. The boss is an aquatic, and it's weak to wind, among other things. And this is the party we're going to be using. Super, super budget. We're going to be using the newly Neovisions Awakened X-Death to um, deal all the damage. I'll show you the gear at the end. It's super cheap. Um, Neovisions Awakened Gilgamesh to break and in peril. We're going to use the Awakened Barts, the old version, to uh, just imbue wind and do a stat buff. And then just two chainers can be literally anyone from Final Fantasy V. Um, let's get in here and give it a go. So yeah, this was a little trickier on JP, but on Global, we've got, you know, uh, Meteor cards, so we're fine. So we're going to use Gilgamesh in the shift form to break the boss with Excalibur, <clears throat> and then do Genji Blade for an all element in peril. Bart will start in the base form, go to the shift form, because he doesn't start with his LB in the shift form. So start in the base, then go to the shift, and use the LB, that will give him, or give the party a wind imbue and a stat buff. We'll chain to support units, they can chain with anything you want. I'm gonna use blue wave. Um, you gotta imperil the boss first, because he does have 100 water resist, but after Gilgamesh is in peril, um, water chaining will work. If you don't have blue wave, you can, you can put them on like espers for uh, black magic to chain with that. Just some kind of way to chain, and then our awakened, X death would do meteor. So wait for the third meteor to hit the ground, then chain your bolting strike chainers, and that should be the end of the guy. Turn one, super simple. Um, yeah, I'll show you the gear in a second, but this is, we're, we're uh, using very, very low end gear on X death. And all right, there's our all mission clear. As usual, the, the warning, um, when you're doing silver crowns, make sure you claim them from your mailbox before actually doing the enhancements. And there it is. And that was the event for the week, other than a really quick exploration and um, farming the Mog King. So let me show you the gear we use once it loads up. Come on, game. All right. So completely naked Gilgamesh and Bart's. They just did support stuff. Completely naked Zizat, except for Blue Wave. Naked Lena, except for Blue Wave. And then x -Death is using a double-handed weapon. Your best is fine. The Dark Vision Sword is obviously way better if you have it, but we're going budget. Um, just some MP gear, you know, a chain cap source. Uh, we're using the Olivera card for MP. You know, obviously the Dazzling Demonus card, way better. And then um, just some MP uh, gear. And we're on the, what's it called? The Kokorayu Esper for killers. The boss is an aquatic. And we've got maxed out aquatic killer. And yeah, that was it. So there it is. Um, X-Death is a pretty good meteor user. You know, he gets like 11,000 magic and uh, 6,000 MP with the right build or more. So yeah. That's the stuff for the week, I guess. Go in there, break, imbue, chain, meteor, you're done. See you in a bit.